Hey everyone, so this is going to be the look that I do today. It is using the um, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Um, I don't have the MAC Blue Brown pigment, but I thought that the definer shade in this palette was almost identical to it. And I've been wanting this pigment for so, so long. And I just thought, it is so perfect for fall. What better to do than use the dupe until I can get it and create this look. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Please don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm back because I've been gone due to moving. And now I'm back. Duh. So yeah, this is the look. And I'll see you soon. So to start off with this eye, I've already primed my eye with Soft Ochre Paint Pop by MAC. Surprise, surprise. And then I went in with a fluffy brush in my Jane Cosmetics um, and Natural because I always do that. I mean, it's like my transition shade, so I'm always doing that. I'm going to be using the Comfort Zone palette. So, yeah. Going in with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in, I'm using only this side of the palette. That's a lie. I'm using only this side, like this L right here. And I'm going to go in with this crease shade on a fluffy brush and put that into my crease. After blending that out, I'm going in with another brush, um, a more precise brush. This is a MAC 217, and I'm taking the definer shade, which looks like um, Black Heart from the Naked 3 palette, this last one that says definer, and putting that in my outer third. this definer shade on the other side and it looks a bit like um, Max Blue Brown pigment. I'm going to start and just put it all over my lid. This shade is so pretty. And it's almost an absolute 100% dupe for the Blue Brown pigment. like so. Going in with a bit more of that definer shade, the darker one that looks like black heart. I'm patting it into the outer corner just to deepen that out a bit. And going in with the brow bone shade, I'm just going to take a bit of that right underneath my brow bone. And yes, I have already done my eyebrows. Going in with my Maybelline Line Stiletto. And I'm applying a eyelash primer. I decided to get a little creative, and I took this blue eyeliner, um, it's by Hard Candy, it's just stroke of gorgeous, it's like this blue eyeliner, and I ran it down my lower lash line and flicked it up into my wing, so there's kind of like a double, 
colored wing. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. But that's it for the eyeballs, and so now I'm gonna move on to my faris. Starting off with this faris, I'm taking this um, NYC Skin Primer. It's definitely an illuminate, illuminating primer. It's like shimmery, very, very, very shimmery. Like when I wore this, um, I rub it in with my hands. And um, I went out with my boyfriend and he was like, your hands are so shiny. And I was like, I was thought about what it could have been. And I knew this was the only thing. So like that. Do you see? It's like so shiny. It's like whoa. And then going in with some concealer. I'm taking first the Bobbi Brown um, corrector in Peach Bisque. have such a dark smoky eye it is usually pretty necessary to make sure your the rest of your face is absolutely flawless you don't want a smoky eye and then still have some dark under eye circles showing through it just doesn't look right then I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. And going in with a brightening concealer, I'm going in with the Age Rewind Concealer in Brightener. This is definitely my favorite concealer of life. I've never seen a concealer make such a difference. With the cream bronzer, it's the Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk bronzer in warm tan. I did repurchase this because as you see I hit pan, but I repurchased it in the darker shade because I feel like that's what I would like more. And I'm going in with a P80. And just um, outlining where I want my contour. I then go in with a Real Technique Expert Face Brush and just blend out that line a bit. Then 
then I go in and set my whole face. Going in with a precision brush, I'm going to do my contour. With that, I'm using the Anastasia kit. And for my blush, I'm taking Max Talk of the Town, and it's a mineralized blush. I'm taking that with a Sonia Kashuk stippling brush. And I couldn't decide what kind of lip I wanted. I was thinking, should I go for a deep berry lip or should I go with a nude lip? I think I'm going to do a light, dusty pink lip. And so I think for my lip color, I'm going to go in with Tea Rose by e.l.f. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. There's going to be new videos coming up, hopefully, more regularly than they have been due to my move. It has been a little tough, but now that I am back here and back in the groove and settled, I definitely hope that the tutorials will be coming out as they were every Monday every Monday and Thursday, and every other Saturday, and to Tuesdays every other Tuesday, I hope. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!